like man oh man it was when i was trying the uh just at the beginning when as you were coming in when i was trying the uh the fish stuff out a bit on you know on here just to, to have something to do in the meantime it was like less than five fps if you will on the site it was jarringly slow that's, uh, that's a bit jarring yeah Normally, normally it's like, oh yeah, when the cards are moving about and stuff, it's fine. Sometimes it takes a while, or sometimes it feels it looks, you know, a little bit weird. No, this was like, you know, you could count the frames of the card moving, sort of thing of it. And even though I'm normally not very good at that, I freaking noticed it. Uh, it's like, oh yeah, no, this is bad. I'm yes. hoping that's not the case now. Yeah, um, might be a problem in the future if we don't find a way to handle that later but it's handled yeah. now hopefully so right uh, let us see how this goes oh uh, pre yeah, dual stretch oh, no. <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh you got stretch uh, okay yeah it's been a whole while since we've been able to get back to this here wink <laughs> <laughs> oh not this time okay so, I'm going to elect to go second with this one, I think. Uh, to be expected. I don't know about that. Going first has been pretty good in a lot of these now. Well, I know I know that, but like, I know you may have ideas and, and such that may want you to go uh, second and later on. So, yeah, I'm not going to... I'm not going to... Except one wants Question to that. pass, huh? Yep. Okay, uh, let's start off with the pot of greed. Good old pot. Yep. Yep. Uh... Huh. You would think that would do something, but... <laughs> <laughs> Good old water. Hey, paladin. This is very awkward. Um, man, this is like the best worst hand of all time. I don't know <laughs> the what best to worst, do the worst this. best. <laughs> oh god, yeah, this is this is not amazing. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to just. Yeah, I think I'm just going to normal summon Gale here. Big ol' Gale. Big ol' butt. Yeah, and this is probably going to end a disaster, but hey, I can maybe half the attack or something. We're just, just going to hit in. Treeborn! Oh boy. Okay, um... That could be hilarious. Let's see how this ends up. Uh... Just trying to think. So what's the worst that could probably happen off of this? Like, uh, maybe a tribute for a monarch or something could be the, uh... It yeah, no, I think I'm just gonna end at that. It uh, has been a while since we've seen the monarchs. Yeah, it has been. I mean, you probably would have seen a lot more of them if I actually opened them, but, uh... <laughs> yeah, alright, well, I'm not gonna activate Treeborn Frog's effect. Ooh, that's, sc that's scary, okay. I'm actually going to special summon... Yeah, that's the why. The staple. Yeah. Good old staple. And the site has not fixed itself, but that's fine. No. <laughs> it's okay. It's just it's just been really, really slow with this. I don't know if it's like maybe because Firefox updated or something. Maybe that's like forcing some windows here. Right. It's okay. We'll we'll survive. All right. So then, battle phase. He'll attack. Uh, yeah. Okay. I will take eight for that. Yeah. Yep. And to the grave it goes. Then main two. I'll just set a monster. Interesting. Okay. Um, well, this is simultaneously a great and terrible top deck, and I again do not know what to think of this right now. <laughs> I'm gonna play Dark Hole. Sad day. Oh, the Quillbot. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, this is this is cool. I'm I'm gonna be curious to see how this uh, sets up. If it sets up. But I'm just gonna leave it there. I, 
don't know what to do with this hand right now. Hmm. And it's like... Ah, uh, I don't think I really want to, uh... I really want to play the stuff off in here. <laughs> well, one heck, that heck truck was angry, so let's summon it again. You're not bringing True Bomb back then? No. Okay. So Just making phase, sure because yeah. you didn't say. I'm not, so. I'm not saying it yet. Nope. All right. So battle phase, he'll attack directly. <laughs> Good old right, hedgehog. Let's do it. Piece. Let's do it. Just on uh, at the end of the attack. Oh. I'm gonna special summon Gauz. Ah. Uh, when you take so damage from a card in your opponent's possession, you've got anything for me line. too. Let's go right. So here's here's the uh, the thing. catch. I don't have the token set properly for it, but we'll uh, we'll keep a thing on it. Uh, I don't have the, the thing on. The one token one is 800 attack defense. Okay. Are each equal to the amount of battle damage you took. All right. So it's not the best goals, but it's yep. still there a bit. Right. All is right. that going to change anything? Um, Did you want to do No, it? no. I end turn. Okay. So, bad news. So this is a level 7 token. So... Yes. It is still kind of weird in that aspect, but, uh... It's a level 7 token with 800 attack. Yeah, normally I'd be playing this on a much bigger dude, but I just wanted to summon it down, because God, <laughs> this hand doesn't have anything else I want to do. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it does have something that I can do now, at least, though. We're going to play Black Whirlwind. Oh, that might be it. And we're going to play Black Whirlwind. That's going to be a game. Uh, no, because I don't have a good bla uh, Blackwing to actually summon off it here. Uh, I, I have Blizzard. Blizzard. <laughs> well, you can get so, uh, certain somebody out. So, Blizzard's gonna trigger, we're gonna get the get the Gale as the thing with that, but, uh, yeah, so Blizzard triggers, the two Whirlwinds trigger, I'll get Blizzard first, because I might as well. Yeah. Uh, so that gets Gale, that puts that defense, and I actually can trigger both Whirlwinds here, because I have two monsters to go with it, um, because you've actually seen one of them in our testing before. Uh, it is the Ghibli. Stuff is taking so long to yeah. get my card. And then I have this guy as well. Jin. That's hmm. from the new set, so there's my new one edition with it. Uh, yeah, so I can't actually like do anything with those this turn, but that is fine. I may as well use the effect of Gale because it doesn't get negated by Blizzard summoning it, so we're going to use it to half the Quillbot down to 400, just yep. so I can get a little bit more damage out here. Um, I will set one card, because I'm basically done after this anyway. Uh, I have, like, nothing I could really synchro summon because there's no two material level 9 I can play. No. Trish is free materials, so there's nothing I can really synchro with what I've got out. Kind of sad when you think yeah. about it, but it's whatever. Uh, so, so, Blizzard can attack, that's, that's 900. Nine. Yeah. And then that can hit for 27. The big old... Realistically, I should have done it the other way around because, you know, if you had gores, then this would have been really bad, but... Yeah. Uh, I know the situation at the moment is not quite that way, so, uh... Yep. Alright, so, stand by. I will activate Tree Barn Frog this time. Yep. So, main phase. Um... I'm gonna pay... F I'm gonna pay for it regardless if you don't have it, so let's see if you have it or not. Let's dust, dust her. Okay, I don't... Uh, um, just thinking if, it's, if I want to respond with anything. You know what? I think I will. I'm going to Icarus. I'm going to sack the... Uh, which one I'm going to sack the... Well, I mean, this in defense going to get killed anyway, right? Uh, I'm going to sack the Gale, and I'm going to target your two cards. Target Harpy's Fire Dust. Can you do that in yeah, response? Yeah, because it's... Yeah, because it's in. It's still. It's not resolved yet. yet. This is chain link two. It's still on the field as a mm. as an active card. So. Huh. And then the whirlwinds will go as well. Yeah, it needs to be incredibly slow with this right now. So mm -hmm. I apologize. If no, you're worried. Well. You're good. You're I good. actually, I was trying to click the two cards you had there to highlight them for the targeting. Didn't work at all. <laughs> Ultimately, not sure if that's going to matter too much, but it does get one level away. Uh, 
from the field, so maybe that'll matter. Yeah, as as Chaos is saying at the moment, MST doesn't. I mean, MST is an example for it here. Yeah. MST doesn't negate, but it's still a legal car, a target to destroy mid chain because it doesn't leave the field until after it's resolved. Hmm. So that's good to know then. Hmm. Also, yeah, I sure was like almost two hours into the stream. Are you on turn two already? Yeah, this is this is the second turn. <laughs> okay, it's a bit more than the second, but <laughs> it's only a bit more. Yeah, it's not by much, actually. <laughs> hmm. Actually, I can't do that. Yeah, I can do that. I'm gonna do that. All right, I'm going to discard volcanic shell. Yep. To special summon quick draw in defense. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna activate volcanic shell's effect first. Pay 500 life points to get yep. another one from the from the deck. Yep, that's fine. Even if I had Valor, it doesn't work on ones in the graveyard, so... Yeah. Alright. Alright, then I'm going to declare both my Quillbelt Hedgehogs. Since there is a tuner out there, they can be special summoned onto the field. Yep, and it's not once per turn, so... So that so gives I you can't... nine levels. Yep. Yep. Now the thing is, it's still quick draw synchron, so I can't synchron for yeah. anything for it. that's not a synchron. Unfortunately, you can't get Trish out with this. Yeah. Yeah. But there's still some good stuff to get off of this. So. Yep. out in the meantime mm -hmm. uh all right uh yeah that's gonna be well i can't do that actually hmm no i think this is a better option all right i'm gonna sink off for seven here yep so he goes to the grave this one gets banished I'm a Nitro Warrior. Nitro. Yep. Uh, yeah. Oh, right, duh. It's literally on the screen right now. Sorry, Chaos was basically just saying, yeah, you could DD Crow the, uh, the shell. And I was like, wait, what? How? And then, yeah, I'm literally just reading it. It's still on the screen at the moment. I did, wasn't even reading. This card must be in the graveyard to activate and resolve this effect. I didn't even freaking read that bit. So, sorry, I was just like, wait, what? <laughs> and then it was, uh, then it, it was cleared up. It was like, oh, oh, right. Ah, yeah, okay. You can, so he was saying you couldn't affect failure, but you can DD Crow. DD Crow yeah. it. Okay, that makes sense then. All right, um, battle phase then. Nitro Warrior will attack Blizzard first. Yep, that's going to be 15. Again, the shooting stuff is going to go. That yep. goes to Grave. So it says, car it says nice. monster destroys a monster. You can target a defense position monster opponent controls, change it to attack. Yep. Then it makes a second attack in a row. Which on that 2, monster, 000. which has to be on that monster. Yep. So it's going to hit for 2,000 because this was a 800 attack token, as I noted mm -hmm. above. So. All right. Um, Woof. I don't think I summoned this turn, did I? You didn't normal summon, no. no. You specialed the quick draw and you double specialed the quill bolts. Yeah. I'll hold off for now then. I'll enter. Okay. 
Stand by me. Okay, um, well I think my normal summon for the turn is going to be Jin here, because this is a level 1 tune, and that's kind of why I wanted to put oh. Jin here. Oh, <laughs> shit, uh, alright. Yeah, so this is this is his whole thing in Heroes, because, you know, like, Breeze was the thing I had initially, but Breeze can only make Armed Wing in this deck right now. This mm -hmm. guy's a level 1 tuner that I can still add in the same attack range that I can add Breeze, but it works because it's the tuner at a lower level that I can yeah. work with. A low 1 so tuner, I, yeah, that works. Yeah, hey, Otto. so I do... Doing all right. I do still have that as an yep. option, and I guess that's probably a reasonable enough one to take here. We're going to sink for eight and go into Scrap Dragon. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, this should be fine. Uh, it's almost fine. Man, I really wish I had Shura right now. <laughs> That's all I can say. This is this is like annoyingly close. Yeah. Because I've normal summoned here. It's like um. So I'm just trying to think what would be the best way around this then. Okay, you're at 39. Okay, right. I think I've got it. We're gonna play one face down. Use the effect of the Scrap Dragon, pop the face down, and the Quill Bolts. Quill Bolts. Hmm. Does that get Spanished? Yep. We're gonna Monster Reborn Target Gale. Oh. Is that alright? Yep. Okay. If you activate so, a card, so it has to be add to activate. Yep. Yep. We're going to activate Gale, we're going to have the attack defense of the uh, Nitro Warrior down to 14. Yep. yep. Battle phase, we're going to hit with Scrap Dragon to 14. Going to attack with the Gale. Gale with 13. And damage damage step, we're going to Kalut to bring it to 27. Fucking Kalut! <laughs> Yep. Now see, you have the draws for the Black Wings. I fucking don't. <laughs> I'm still gonna be bitter about this till the day I die. <laughs> yep. <laughs> grumble, it grumble, grumble. It took me a little bit to. It took me a little bit to think through because I was gonna use the Scrap Dragon on the uh, on the Nitro Warrior, but then I was like, uh, then I can't do damage through Duder and I can't win. But then I was thinking. But if I cut that down and I do 14 with that, it puts you at 25. 13, 14 is 27. So I was like, okay, we had that, we had a way. Um, so, yeah, that was that was interesting. Uh, my opening had was like. Gore's double whirlwind monster reborn and Gale, and I was like, this was so good, but so terrible at the same time. It's like Drew Pot agreed into Icarus attack and uh, Blizzard. That was like, come on, this is so close. Just give me one of the good Black Wings, and I can do something amazing here. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it was so close to being being ridiculous, and then it just didn't quite come together. Just couldn't do it. Ah. Uh... Also, I do realize that Gauze was far too early there, but I thought it would be cool just to show it off. That's what I took instead of the uh, the TG Hyper Librarian here. Yeah. Because uh, considering I can't play the deck I wanted to for not having enough cards for it, I was like, I'm just going to go ahead and do the whole, like, no, swap the thing. Yeah. I guess I should have not destroyed Blizzard instead, then. That was, I guess that was a small, small miscalculation there. Yeah, because I would have had to have reborn to get Gauze out if I wanted to go Scrap Dragon at that point. But uh, I can see why you would, though. That was a lot of damage, and it was pretty pretty close. But I just, uh, my thought process was like, okay, this monster can't really do much being level 7 and just being a monster that affects our only one special summon. So, you know, it's just kind of like, eh, I don't think I care enough to do much with it. I don't think you're gonna do much worse. Then I remember. Then I sudden realization you had the damn level one tuner. <laughs> yeah, I, that completely slipped my mind. 
Yeah. Understandable. All right, go ahead. Ah, uh, well. All right, stand by. Um, it's a face down monster, but it's a monster, so Cyber Dragon. Yep, I'm gonna bomb the strap hole then. Yeah. Uh, oh, I uh, maybe should. Ah, uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. I could have maybe done something else with it, but no, nah, it's fine. Bombless yeah. is good. Yeah, bombless uh, is good. But guess what? Another dragon. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Okay, I am gonna have to real quick ask uh, ask on for chaos here. If I use this now, do I get the effect of it immediately, or is this too late in terms of the timing of it to get the to get the immediate benefit of it? Because I'm not entirely sure how this card actually works right now, so. Okay, pretty sure Karnas is All right, we'll, we'll leave it then. That's, that's good. So that's fine then? Yep. I just wanted to make sure of, uh, of the timing on stuff over here, because I know sometimes this card works like immediately, but I think this I think the summon was too... Well, because it was just a it was an inherent summon, I think it was a little bit too uh, mm. early off it, if you will. Hmm. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Uh, battle phase. So Dragon Ball trying to attack. Yep, that is Ghibli. Yeah, buddy. Uh, yeah, I'll just then turn on that. Okay. Boop and boop. All right. Well, I think we just gotta go the one up right here. We're gonna normal summon Blizzard, target Ghibli. Assuming that's yep. okay. Yeah, you're fine. All right. And then we can sync for five. Uh, do, do, do. Which one of the two do I want? Uh, this would be where TG Hyper Librarian would come in if I had it, right? Because it'd be the easy thing to do. But uh... it'd be the easy choice. <laughs> I guess he's not played a lot of. Hmm. Nah, we'll save it for just now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get Magical Android out. All right. And battle phase, we're gonna hit. Okay. Dragon. And then end phase, it's a psychic monster, so we are actually going to gain the 600 life points off of this at uh, yep. at the end. And uh, go ahead. Hmm. The other, the other obvious choice is Catastor, but I feel like Catastor might have uh, been too All right. much. Alright, I think I'm just gonna have to set mm -hmm. one and pass. Um, I guess we could, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sorry, getting asked about Chinese going in, mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool. I'll have that in a sec. Um, Alright. Normal summon Shura. Shura, yep. Because I feel like most of the stuff you've had is weak enough that this will be able to get through it. Battle phase, we will attack with the Shura. Yep. But it is a Sangan. Sangan, okay. Um, yeah. Uh, yours is so optional, I so you go get first. Mine. Yes. Yeah. I have to get mine first. Uh, let's see. Blackwing, 1500 or less. I mean, I guess. Probably the best bet would be the uh, Gale. The best bet in Gale, yep. Alright, so then... Oh, that took fucking 10 seconds to actually summon that there, Jesus. Yep. Yeah, it's not being unresponsive, it's just being very, very laggy. So I apologize to anyone's actually watching the stop motion that's going on here, but... Uh... Yeah, so Inherents don't start the chain, so in response I wouldn't be... Uh, yeah, that's, that's what I expected. Um, yeah, if I want the if I want the full effect of it, I have to use it on a on chain resolution. 
which inherent special summons like Cyber Dragon don't do. Good to know. It's very good to know. Uh, let's get Quick Draw Synchron. Quick Draw. Okay. Um, right, we can still hit with uh, this. Its effects negated, but it can still attack, so we'll do 13. Or the by the effects, what? Its effects are negated, but it's it can still attack. Oh, so we're still oh yeah, 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 with, yeah, With Gale for, for oh, yeah, 13. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, let's not. I'll say that. Okay, yep. Uh, main two it is. Um, okay, so I did normal summon the Shura. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set one, and then I'm going to tune Gale with the Android to get Stardust Dragon out. And end turn at that. Hmm. Okay, in standby phase, I think this is the good enough time to do it. I'm gonna activate Maxi at the end of standby phase. You're gonna eat up there's turn. Each time your opponent steps on some monster, draw a card. That's what I was questioning, whether or not I would draw if I used mm -hmm. it after you played the Cyber Dragon. But the answer is no, because it doesn't start a chain. Mm -hmm. Quick Draw Synchron is the same way. So knowing that you've added that in, I'm going to discard it now. So that every special summon you do this turn, I draw a card for it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I've played enough Quick Draw Synchron to know that it's also an inherent summon. So... Uh... Because say our chaos is like I was gonna say, quick draw is inherent to it. I'm like, oh, I know. I've thought I've played it enough. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this is like the first deck that you've played where I think it actually makes sense to play Max uh, to side in the Maxi here, <laughs> because. I this is the first one. I mean, Six Arm is the other one, right? But this is the first one that you've played that actually spe would special summon a lot of times in one turn. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to throw this in here. And, uh... Okay, so here's a question for Chaos then on your end. If Maxi were to be special summoned by Monster Reborn or Call of the Haunted or something like that, and it's not in the graveyard anymore, would its effects still be activated? Because the cost of it is to send it to the graveyard, or the cost, yeah. Yeah, it, so I can I can pretty much ask that one myself as well, I think, yes, because this has created like a lingering effect on the field at this point. Mm. Uh, because it isn't one it isn't each time your opponent special summons one of their you know one of their own monsters it's just any time a special summon happens this turn doesn't matter what the what the summon is hmm Raises a lot of questions, doesn't it? <sighs> I need to be main face first off. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I was. It was the easiest time to do it because if you went, if you successfully went into main phase, I'd have to wait for you to do something first, and I was like, yeah, I mm. might as well just say 
at the end of like yeah. going between phases here. I stand by. Yeah, no, that's fair. Yes, it will. Battle Fader would deny sure a special summon because it gets banished mm -hmm. when it leaves the field. That is uh, that is a good point. Is you, media player, play playing the same song again? <laughs> you only use it once per turn, but every time I special summon, it sort of a card. Yeah, that basically meant if if it was allowed for me to play like three of them, I would not be able to put three down on. On the same turn and draw three cards per summon. Sounds like I've caused a bit of a problem over there. <laughs> Definitely changes things. I mean, that's the biggest thing here, is that if I do anything, you can draw a card at this point. Yeah, if I do anything here... I'm gonna set one. Yep. I can still do that though. I might have to be the play here. Alright. I will activate Monster Reborn. Okay, target. Gale. Uh, Your Gale. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So, Diable one draw. special summon. Yep. Right. Activate its effect to half the attack of Stardust Dragon. Yep, that's fine. Then, battle phase. Gale will try to attack Stardust. <sighs> this is such an awkward one to do it with, but I think I'm going to mirror force it. Uh. Okay, then, um, main two. This is exactly why I still play Gale in some of the decks that weren't Blackwings, though, because it gets over Stardust Dragon, you know? Pretty much. Um...
frick, I'm just gonna have to end turn on that. Okay, so yeah, we will no longer have that uh, that effect going in. Right, um, okay, I'm a little bit insulated against Mirror Force on my own side, so... I'm going to special summon for... Uh, yeah, on his special summon then. Okay, I work? will use... I will, yeah, it will, um, but it also does destroy, so I will use the effect of Stardust to, uh, to negate and destroy Bondless. So, Stardust is gone, although it's going to come back at 25, so I'm not exactly going to over yep. um, uh, We are going to normal summon Jin, because that was a special mm -hmm. of the, the boar. Um, right, so, because this will get banished and not sent to the graveyard, Shura will not be able to special summon anything. So, because of that, I'm going to hit with Borrow and do the piercing damage instead. So we'll do that, and then hit for the 24 if you will let me. Yeah. Okay, and then main 2... Yeah, I will sync for... Ooh, will I? Um... Yeah, I will sink for nine. One, five, nine. Of course. And we'll get Trishula out. Doesn't banish anything on the field, but it doesn't have to, uh, unlike the Necros version of this. It is, uh, it can banish one each from. Doesn't have to. So, I will still use the, the effect of it. Let me see what, uh... Honestly, probably the Sangan is what I'll banish out of Grave, and then there's one random yep. card in the hand. So... Yo, Blue Bomber! 22 months of final level to summon the ultimate creature, Slipe for the Executive Producer! That is a really good one to, uh, to summon right now. Okay, so this will be one, and then we'll, we'll roll right. from there. So one, two, three, get on the other side. My god, that dice is like one FPS. Okay, so four, so it will be the one. Uh, all right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Dust it. Okay. Go ahead. Wait, that's banished. Oh, yeah, the fader should go. The fader should go banished as well. Uh, yeah. Right. Forgot about that. Uh, yeah, no, I missed it. I missed it briefly as well. It's fine. Not a problem. Uh, was that the right play in the end? Probably not, but I didn't want to summon Catastor and I did not feel like leaving a 600 attack dude in play when you've got Quick Draw Synchron as an option. So, I was like, uh, um, yeah, I should probably not. Yeah, on my end phase, your Stardust Dragon comes back. Oh yeah, it does, doesn't it? I fucking forgot. <laughs> Thank you for being the one who actually reminded that, because you could have easily just been like, yeah, no, he's, he's gone for good. But yeah, no. no, thank you for reminding me about that. No, no, he's fucking gone. He has to be on the field now. Yeah, he's like, he's super dead. Come on. Uh, <laughs> no, I fucking forgot about that. Bad. Uh, I'm, I'm bad today. <laughs> yep. Oh, dear. Well, I was hoping to draw something particular, but nope. So once again, this deck, as much as I want to try, as much as it wants to be good, it's not. Uh... Yeah, there's really not much I can do at this point. Wait. This monster was special summoned from the graveyard at the end phase. Yeah, the Stardust, right? Yeah. Uh, would it work that way then? Would it matter if it worked that way? That's the real question. Curious. Uh, <laughs> That's a good question, actually. Would it matter if it was summoned if it was done that way? Uh, 
I don't think so. He also saying you can DM him on Discord if you've got uh, if you've got a question that might be relevant. I here. don't uh, think it's too relevant because I don't think it's gonna matter in the grand scheme of things. Okay. Um. Fuck, I see no way out of this. I'm just gonna have to activate Dark Hole. Yeah, and I'm gonna have to sack the yeah. uh, the thingy. Okay, so my my one guess would be Didi Crow was the uh, was would be the question, but I'm not gonna I'm gonna wait until after before we we chat on mm. stuff here. Break. I'm just gonna have to set one and turn. Okay. Well, I guess I'll have my answer because the only other thing you've got is quick draw. Uh, stand by. Stand uh, by. Stardust uh, comes back. Sure does. Uh, God damn it! I am fucking terrible with this card today. <laughs> All right, uh, that's a pretty pretty good one to thing up. We're gonna get sure. Of course. Yep. Ah, uh, yeah. All right. So what what was the? Oh, Doppel. Okay. So, because he was special summon, yeah, yeah, it's from the grave. So, no, it wouldn't work that way either way. But even then, nah. if I were to discard it anyway, it would have just been trying to draw Synchron, but Synchron wouldn't have been able to summon anything. Dark Hole is my top mm -hmm. jaw, so if the top jaw was more a monster, that's not a monster. Yeah. That's not a monster. That's not, nope, that's a monster. <laughs> took a moment, but yeah, that's, that was the, the hope was to get the cool bed the monster out there, but no, that, uh, it was my last one in hand, uh, which was why I was like, I don't know if it's completely right going through what I did with it there, but then I was, when I went into Trish, my, my thought was like, I don't want to keep Jin in play because Jin can only get to 2000 attack with this stuff. He can't even hit over Cyber Dragon at that point, right? So, oh, can it? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me. Let me reread this. So if it battles a face-up monster with defense equal to a less than its attack. Oh, so if I. You can do this in battle step, right? God, it's taking so long to move it to hang. No, Drew neither plays damage step, so it wouldn't have worked. Okay, <laughs> I was thinking maybe, maybe if I could have colluded it in like, you know, like, because you can do honest in battle step. I was like, maybe if I could collude it in like battle step or something, I'd be able to cut your, uh, uh, I'd be able to cut the cyber dragon down or anything that sort of big with it because it would have less than 2000 defense, my, right? My, but that's not how it yeah. works. So. My draw options were I in the very bottom leave it out. of the freaking deck. Oh no. Uh, that sucks. Yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to keep the, um, I wanted to to keep like make a use out of the gin, but I didn't want to keep it on field because it could get run over by anything remotely strong. I only had one Kalut. So that's why I was like, well, even if I don't get to banish a card on the field, Trish is still going to be fine here. And it does do more damage to you going for Trish afterwards because of Bora's piercing damage. So uh, yeah, uh, that felt like it was fine. Let me try and mill my deck out of this. Honestly, this thing is going so slow at the moment. I don't know if it's going to matter. I did side out like three cards because I put the the crows in. I actually didn't put the second Icarus attack in, the, uh, in there as I normally would at that point. But I did put two DD crow in as well as the max C from the side deck here. But uh, I sided out the gores. I had both my other gores were in the side deck, but like I didn't want to focus too much on it there. Yeah, you've already got that bit up. It's good. Um, yeah, because this thing is loading so goddamn yeah, slowly. Yeah, it's put on my end here. Okay. Yeah, it's like, I, I can't freaking do anything with this. This is ridiculous. Yeah, I like actually saw Stardust in the middle of the screen for one frame, and then the next frame it was over on the other bit. This is <laughs> actually on yeah. slow right now. So I'm just now uh, looking at my deck here. I noticed one big glaring problem here. Quick Draw is the only tuner monster aside from Effect Failure, which I um, sighted in. Ah, yeah, that is a problem. Um, but it was just a fun idea because when you draw three Ghost Rares of this damn card. 
Uh, it sounds like that. <laughs> oh my god, really? Wow! <laughs> Three Ghost Riders! <laughs> Seriously? Oh, sorry. Two. That's... Okay, I'm sorry. Two Ghost Riders and an Ultra Rare, but still, two Ghost Riders are the yeah, same damn still... card, and Ultra Rare are the same damn card. Wow! And first edition, so Junk Berserker first edition, it uh, Ghost Rare is sixty four dollars. That's pretty good considering it's not like the the chasiest of Ghost Rares of it. Holy shit! Okay, um, yeah, he looks pretty good. He looks good, um, but like he does have a problem with like he needs junk monsters, and I could yeah. not find a way to fit junk monsters with this one here, especially since I don't have Junk Synchron first of all, and the only other junk monster That's I have the... is Junk Rescue, Junk something. I know Junk Servant junk was a rare in uh, Junk set. Servant, uh, yes. Yeah. Only one of him. The only other Junk yeah. monster I have is Junk Warrior, and I can't even summon him! Not without using level either, yeah. Um, yeah, not having Junk Synchron is really the, the big sort of catch. That's why well, I, me having like two of them, I would be able to use, uh, to use that. But I didn't pull him, so, uh, yeah, that was unfortunate. But, uh, man, three copies of it though, that's, ah. That's a shame, not being able to use that. Uh, oh, well. <clears throat> okay, so I may not have a huge amount of time to talk on this stuff. It depends how quick that gets back yeah. and stuff. But I will uh, I'll go over what I got anyway. Um, I was very close to being able to play the TG stuff or trying to build a deck on it. But I only got one striker. I got the Cyber Magician one, the Super Rare, I got one copy of that. I got a full playset of the Rhino, I got the, the Common, the War Wolf, I got like eight of that. Um, but I only got one TD Striker, and you need Striker for that. It Cyber Dragons itself out, and uh, it's a level two, like, tuner to go in with the, the stuff yeah. there. So unfortunately, I just couldn't play it. Um, I really wanted to, but with just one, if I had two copies of it, I'd have tried it. Because you could, uh, you could go reinforcement the army and uh, have it as a search that way and obviously the TGs yeah. will search themselves out a lot yeah. from there so that would have been really good but I only have one copy of Striker so I just couldn't I couldn't debated it. on using the TG stuff but I don't know if it was enough I mean like three werewolves, two strikers, one rhino, one dragonfly uh, four falcons mm. and then two of the dragons yeah, I got the I got two dragonfly. I only needed one of those. Um, which only one so dragonfly, which is the only this is the only TG synchro I have. Yeah, the other ones are high rarity. Um, I didn't get any of the other synchros either, but they're generic enough. I could just use generic like, synchro monsters and stuff for it. Uh, so I wouldn't have been too worried about what I was synchro summoning with them. It was more just getting the engine together. Um, yeah, one Rhino, two, as Chaos is saying, one Rhino, two Striker is sketch. Uh, same with me being three Rhino, but one Striker is very sketch. So uh, neither of us quite got it. We were close, but not quite. Um, I did get two copies of the Junk Servant. I don't know if, if, what I'd even use that with at the moment, but like, I, it's, it's not bad. Like The card itself is good, but the archetype is just like not yeah. coming out right now. So when we get more jump monsters and stuff for it, it'll probably be a decent card. But right now, uh, yeah, no. Yeah. Um, I think I got all of the TG one... spell trap cards. <laughs> I didn't get the draw trap. So I was a little bit sad at that because, I mean, even if part of Avarice is good, like generally, uh, I would have liked to have had the trap card, but I didn't get any copies of that. So that's a shame because they all search each other out. It's very easy to get, the, get enough to, to refuel that. Um, I did get a couple of neat supers. I only got one ultra, and it was the stupid Nordic bullshit, the Mara of the Nordic Alpha, <laughs> which is just such a bad card. It's like it's a level two tuner that if you synchro with it, you've got to use two Nordics in your hand as the other materials. Mm. So good fucking luck. It's also not the one that summons Odin, which is the one synchro like Nordic that I have. So you know, it summons uh, Loki. I think it was. Uh, it's bad. Don't care. Um, like I said, I got the TG Cyber, Cyber Magician. I got Shen's Advisor, which is not a great card in the first place, but like I don't have the 6 Sam stuff. I only got one Elder as well, actually. That was yeah. disappointing. I was worried about uh, not getting the Elder, because I only drew one, and I'm about to turn back 20. It's like, ah, oh, shit. The last two packs were two more Elders. Hey! Oh, <laughs> so cool. I got so a playset of them there. Yeah. <clears throat> 
And he actually is very got... useful with uh, that one spell card, or Kiskiwar, yeah. or whatever, of the Six Samurai. Because... Yeah, asceticism, yeah, asceticism is really good with him. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's the combo that I've noted. That's why I've used it in yeah. Legacy of the Duelist, actually, is asceticism, because he can special summon himself out. So you special him, you asceticism Kagamusha, and that's your level 5 straight yeah, away. That's a level so, 5 straight away, yeah, and very, they're both Earth, good. so if I wanted to either do yes. Shien or Nichiria Beast... Yes, so fantastic on that front. Um, I got... I actually got the super rare Blackwing as well. I was trying to fit it in, but I ended up putting Gauze in instead because I didn't really feel like I was going to get it in the graveyard. It's the level 5 one. Like, if you do 2,000 or more battle damage whilst it's in the graveyard, you special summon the level 5 tuner, the, the Hillen, yeah. is it? The Tengu Wind. And a level 3 Blackwing as well, like, a, so you can get to a level 8 synchro with that. It's a once per duel thing, but, you know, they get banished anyway, so who cares? Uh, at least I think they do. Um, but I, I, I looked at it and I was like, I really want to fit it in, but how am I getting this in the graveyard? It's a level 5 monster that I had to have to, like, normal summon or special it with Shuro, but what am I summoning with that then? It's level 9 with 2 material, that doesn't work. So I couldn't end up finding a way of making making a justification for it. So I didn't end up playing it, but I did get it and I was interested mm -hmm. in it. Um, Dodger Dragon is kind of cool. If uh, counter trap stuff was getting played a bit more, uh, you can't negate its summon, and it negate it stops you playing counter traps for the rest of the mm. turn. So maybe if we end up getting enough solemn cards, that would be really good. Um, I got the Karakuri super rare because of course I did. Uh, it looked quite good as well, actually, if I remember rightly. It's like it's a trap. Ka yeah, it's the counter trap, and it gets the spell a trap if you've got a face up Karakuri in the in defense. Uh, so that's kind of neat, but. You know, Karakuri stuff ain't yeah. happening. Uh, the Mechlor Dragon thing was one I picked up, and that's terrible. I'm not even going to talk about it, but it was there. Uh, and then the last, the last Hollow that I got, there's only one copy of it, but I'm tempted to swap for it at this point with the giving up the wheel. I got a Reborn Tengu. Oh. I only got one of it. So I would have to basically do like a set trade plus one slot from my... I am giving up the wheel because I need the fish deck thing, basically. Uh, I only need three cards for the fish deck, so I could actually use that to get Tengu there. Yeah. Which is tempted. I think I still let trade it off from uh, the last pack. Uh, Storm Ride Rock. I'm pretty sure yeah, I did, so I do need the wheel I, on this one. Yeah, you do. Uh, so I should yeah, I need to get that, that one just now. Um... Uh, well, the most notable thing, uh, again, aside from Junk Destroyer, three Epin copies, couldn't get the fourth. <laughs> oh, um, that's a fun one, though. Um, the Dragon Newt. Oh, you got the, 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 well, the Super Yeah, one, Lancer then. Dragon Newt. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. I have I have a bit, of a bit of a thing to bitch about that one. Why the hell is that one the super rare when the 1800 attack one that does the same thing is a common? Because it's a dragon? What the because hell? Because it's a dragon? I have no <laughs> I idea. Know, it's, got, it's got defense and that's it. Like it's like it's what 1500, 1800, yeah. right? Where the other one is 18 and 12 or some shit. By the way, sorry, this is a really long <laughs> link, but uh, I don't have the yeah. short one. Long link right is now, long. So, uh, <laughs> It is. Oh, I still love um, the picture of like it's a long ass link and the image it's like, wow, that's a long link. <laughs> I still love that. <laughs> um, aside from Lancer Dragon Newt, uh, a Shein Dojo. So I have another oh. another one of those or another one. I have a, more yeah. a Shein Dojo and a Shein Advisor. Um, one card I'm curious how it would fit into this uh, into these decks safe zone. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, safe Stone, that again, one. that's a very interesting one, because it can work either way. Like, I, there's multiple uses of it, actually. But, like, it's so easy to counter with, like, a Mystical Space Typhoon or just uh, any of the sorts. It's still an interesting card. Right, because... Because the card, card's supposed to do so, is you target yeah. a card in the field, it cannot be destroyed by battle or by your opponent's card effects, cannot target it with the card effects, and it cannot attack directly. But if it leaves the field, yeah. destroy the monster. Yeah. So, like, even cards that bounce it back into the hand, it can destroy the monster. Which is, uh, which is, yeah, it's, it's a weird one, isn't it? Yeah. But 
I, it's a cool card. I mean, uh, I can see again. I see uses of it. I just don't know combos. where I would be using it though. Yet, yet is the key word. Oh, you know what? I, you know what my immediate thought with it is: target one face up attack position monster on the field, trigger it on the yeah. opponent's card, and then bounce it back to the hand with like giant. Yeah, or I mean that was my first style bet. It's like, huh, that's a way to do it. <laughs> and then just on your story, a monster. I'm glad, I'm glad it's like, oh, I made your monster immune to attacks and card effects. And such, but guess what? It's destroyed. <laughs> yeah, so that's the fun one. Um, the the other giant combo I can see with it is it doesn't prevent the opponent from taking battle damage from that. From that, does it? It only just it only stops the monster from. Cannot being destroy destroyed. by opponents so... by battle or by card effects. Cannot target it with card effects and cannot attack the opponents directly. So yeah, it damage would still go through if it's in attack mode. So yeah, if you if you hit it with if you hit something that's like really like my gin, if it was it, if you had it to stick on the field, you could use that as an outlet to get through an otherwise unbreakable board. <laughs> as an outlet, this is for fifth grade. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Like it's <laughs> oh, this that's just reminding me of the Dorkly uh, Pokemon daycare for, uh, like <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Thingy one, do you have the one the Gyarados? Uh, yeah, <laughs> the chump. <laughs> Uh, I'm amazed so, yeah, Dorkley is still around, go. funny enough. Yeah. That's a conversation for later, though. Um, aside from that, though, I picked up the <laughs> the Elder of the Six Samurai as well. Um, Psybeast yep. was a pretty interesting pool. Trade Toad. Uh, more Toads. I didn't get one of those! <laughs> I just realized! God damn it! Not that it's not good, it's just like... God, I was, I was, I didn't even mention him. He's such a chunky little he boy. He is chunky. Dude. Two thousand defense <laughs> for one cost, for one level one cost, but it can tribute any other aqua monster to select another frog monster in the graveyard to special summon. So, like, if you got, how did I not pull him? Oh, he's a, oh, he's a oh, rare. That's why. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> um, what was the last one? The last one I wanted to mention: W in Nebula Meteorite. Yeah, dude, that card is fucking. Yeah, nice. I read like, the, oh the description of it. It's like, dude, how? How is this only a common? First of all, second of all, how did I only grab one? <laughs> but yeah, so so for those that don't, I can't, like, yeah, six. yeah. So like, change all face down monsters on the field to face up defense. If you find any light reptile monsters face up, turn them face down at the end phase and draw a card for each one. Then afterwards, special summon a level seven or higher light reptile monster from the deck. Excuse fucking me, how many level seven light reptile yeah. monsters are there? I can think of about three. Obviously, it's it's supposed to be a worm card. That's kind of the the idea of it, like worm. King oh, and, W uh, W worm worm nebula. Right. Okay. Worm nebula nebula. Yeah. Um, the only other one I can think of, uh, I think it's a reptile. The um. There's a alien one that's at level seven, uh, which I'm pr I guess would count. You could technically summon yeah. it. Uh, I forget what it's called because was it Cosmic Horror Gangiel or something maybe? Uh, yeah, because the synchro is Cosmic Fortress Golgar. Yeah, I think it's Cosmic Horror. Is the uh, was the alien one? It was like a rare in GX or some shit. Yeah. Um, I think that's a level seven reptile, so you could probably and it's light, so you could probably summon it with that. Uh, but yeah, no, it's like, dude, what the fuck is this card? But then it's in such an awful archetype. Like, this card is so strong, but there's nothing to play it with because all of the worm effects are like absolute garbage for this, right? Yeah. So it's ah oh, man, it, it sucks. But you could give this to like. I've been playing Shadol today, and it's like, if you give this to Shadol, oh my god, this would be busted. Like, fuck me, yeah. dude. <laughs> it's so um, strong. But yeah, it just... Go on. No, it's just rough, because I, I love the card, but you just... It's, there's no way. Oh yeah, I also picked up the worst gladiator beast, Tigarius. 
Yeah, I, I made the joke when I was when I was going through the set here. It's like, uh, sorry, buddy, the Neo archetype is over there because <laughs> you know the Neo Swat is is garbage enough that he he belongs in that. So <laughs> I didn't obviously. I've, I've said I've only got one Ultra, but I didn't get the the fusion for from this set yeah. for them. It's not the greatest card anyway, but it does take any two Gladiator Beasts, so it can consolidate them to a stronger yeah. monster, I guess. Uh, uh, I guess the only two that mentioned was one is Mental Seeker. I was curious how you can play this one here. I mean, I know how, but like, like it's a psychic monster, and when it's special summoned from the uh, great from the banished monster card, reveal a top three cards you have on this deck, then take one card to remove from play. There's probably a context sensitive. I mean, it's that. when this uh, when this remove from play card is special summon, reveal a top three cards in your opponent's deck. Choose one of those cards and remove it from play. Then shovel the others into the deck. Uh, maybe there's not then, because if it's revealed, then both players get to see it, so maybe you would just have to manually banish yeah. them, and then one stays banished, the other ones go back in. That would make sense, yeah. actually. Um, <coughs> the only other one that worth mentioning? Jar Turtle! I saw that, and I was like, I have Triple Jar of Greed. If I ever wanted stupid draw engine, I have a turtle for it now. <laughs> because, yeah, I actually pulled three super rare Jar of Greed when we did Labyrinth of Nightmare back in the day. Uh, so I actually could play that if I wanted to. And it yeah, I didn't pull any Jar of Greed. But... Yeah, well. So, yeah, yeah um, at the start of this, I said I was debating on two decks. This one was the one. The other one was the Samurai deck because the Samurai deck was was added with a, a couple of new cards. So I was like, mm, two Samurai decks in a row. Let's uh, let's try something else. You played Fable last Did I? time. I thought I played Samurai. I know I played. I guess yeah. I played. Uh, no, you won with Fab you won with Fable against the Nordic hmm. stuff. Uh, the last deck that you tested before we did Hidden Arsenal Four was the Six Sam ah. one. We played Six Sam versus Blackwing. Ah. Uh, yeah, I guess I didn't have enough then at that time. Well, I guess Six Samurai should have been played then. Ah, uh, well. Possibly. But hey, you can you can play them in the exhibition stuff, which we've got to discuss what we're going to do with that. because Yeah, that's going to be interesting about that. Uh, uh, in the meantime, though, um, with that said, where is the draft thing? So I can get idea ideas what we're doing here. Hey, no. Oh, you mean for, the, for what the set is yeah. and stuff? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because I guess... Uh, yeah, we actually have uh, Crow's Duelist Pad, the last Duelist Pad that we're going to open for like four years in here, uh, in terms of the game stuff. Uh, we have Crow's Pack to to look at too. Oh my God, it's just giving you an anonymous Nyan cat on here. Kill me now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, Toba Pack Six is the one that we have today. If I remember rightly, I I have a feeling I recognize that one. Turbo Pack Six might be the one that has like hot red, dra uh, not hot red, uh, like red dragon archfiend and stardust as rares. I know that's coming up pretty soon. Um, I'm gonna go. I've just been had it, but I'm gonna go take yeah. a quick look real quick. Turbo Pack Booster Six. So Turbo I'm Pack curious. Booster Six. Oh, Dark Arm Dragon Ultimate. Yep. That's fun. Uh, so, Fishbox Super, so, Super, Zombie Master. Yes, it is! Stardust Dragon and Red Dragon are actually the rares in this turbo hmm. pack. Well, I only get to open one, sadly, so... Armory Arm is also a rare, so that's uh, cool. let's, let's see here. Uh, so, Turbo Pack Booster 6. I open one of those, I guess. And if yep. it's a tournament pack, it would be those. Yes. And then Search Deck is Lost Sanctuary, uh, Promo, we just went to 2011 not too long ago, so Promo will be 2011. Yep. And um, yep. I guess we opened the 10 packs of Crow Hogan after this then. Yeah, uh, because that's the last thing we need to do before uh, thing it up. So uh, you can't get Kalut in there because I learned so Kalut is not in that set for some reason. I don't fucking know why, everything else Sad is. <laughs> but uh, Kalut is not in there. But uh, the rest of the suite is you should you could get the armed wing back. That's a rare. Um, Gale is a rare in there. I think sure a Bora also rares, so they'll upscale. Um, some of the other synchro stuff is in there as well. The chase card for me in that one is uh, Zephyrus the Elite. Uh, it's an ultra, so it is literally a chase card in there. But that is a generically good card for a ton of decks uh, in just in as a general purpose mm -hmm. thing. Especially if you play Call of the Haunted. Uh, very, very good card with, with stuff like that. So, uh, 
Yeah, um, Zephyros is the is the chase card in that Zephyros. one. Zephyros. I mean, he might as well tap that when he comes in. He does have a blade on his arm, so he is edgy enough for it. Uh, all right, yeah, I'm gonna close out of this stupid thing because it's lagging way yeah. too much right now. I don't know what's up with that. Maybe I need to try opening Dolenberg on Chrome or something and see. Uh, but yeah, uh, that is that is pretty much that with it. Uh, We'll have to discuss what we're going to do with the exhibition stuff. I don't know how many decks you want to bring to this mm. one, to be honest, uh, because we have a lot that we could play. Yeah, there's a lot on. of options there right. at this point, and I think we've we've experimented enough that I think we could probably do, like, up to five wins. Um, yeah, that was kind of what I was thinking, actually, is, like, I think we have enough decks that we could honestly play, like, five different ones yeah. of it. Last time around, we played three because we had Basically, the GX stuff wasn't as, like, central, uh, like, wasn't as amazing for stuff that way. We had, like, a few different things, but not a ton. This time round, I think we have played a different deck in most of these runs. Like, I I think you've played Fabled in all of the Hidden Arsenal ones that's been available, but other than that, and, like, Blackwing once or twice, it's, like, a different deck every yeah. time. It's been really cool. Uh... Yeah, if you want to experiment with some stuff before we go into that, though, I'm more than oh, happy yeah. to, to play a little bit, too. Uh, especially because, you know, stuff like the Six Sam, if you've not uh, not played with Elder and whatnot, you definitely might want to try that out and see what, what you'd bring in. Um, yeah, and then I've got some thinking to do as to exactly how I want to set my trades up here, Evan. I know three for sure, although if you've got one copy of the card, maybe you can settle things otherwise. Um... All the way back from Phantom Darkness, Deep Sea Macrotrema is a level 1 fish that I need from the deck at this point. It is, uh, it's not optional at this stage. It's, uh, it's the only level 1 non-tuna fish monster that we have right now. And I kind of need that for the deck. So uh, that's going to be one that I need to go back to. But uh, if you've got it, and I'd, I'd fucking swap Quasar for that at this point, to be honest. I don't need triple Quasar, so like, if you've got it, I would save yeah. some uh, Which one is this? Uh, Deep Sea Macro Trima. It's pretty much spelled as it sounds. Uh, you know, macro like Macrocosmos. Yep. And one. Trima. T-R-E-M-A. Well, if you're if you're up hmm. for swapping the thing, because I don't think you're getting big fish going anytime soon. Well, if not, you're up for swapping well, that, I haven't, save me one of my I don't know if slots. I haven't looked at enough fish yet at this point. Fish. <laughs> well, take a look at take a look at the stuff first if you want, uh, because I don't know if you if you've got anything you can make off of it that way. But if you need it for something, that's fine. Otherwise, yeah, I'm just going to put it on the table now. I'll give you the fucking quasar yeah. for that, just to. Uh, so you have the option if you want to make a Quasar deck for the exhibition stuff, you can. Um, because Fables have been pretty good at making that, according to what Chaos has shown me. <laughs> so it's possible. And uh, yeah, that would save me a trade slot. And I could maybe make something more interesting out of our pulls and glass in here. Uh, oh, it's not that they're complex, uh, Chaos. It's more just that, uh, you know, you need big fish. And if you don't have big fish, then that's kind of it. Right, anyway, I need to get out of here because I yep. have the food, so I need to get these packs and stuff right. open up. So, thank you for playing, my dude. I will talk to you later on if you're if you're oh, yeah. stuff that way. We can do Talk more later. with it. Uh, and, uh, yeah, thanks for the games. And, uh, All right. good luck for the rest All of right. the day. GG. I don't know what you're doing with the rest of it. I don't know it, either, so, so we'll find out. GG's All right. Game. All right, take care. All right, take care, dude. Oh, that sucked. Oh, well. <laughs> I probably should have used the Six Samurai deck, which I really should. I really shut up at that point. Oh, well. Not the worst. Not the worst way to lose it out, actually. I mean, I could have done better, but nah. Um, all right. So first things first, I want to take the trade first. So I won't forget it this time. Hmm, Dodge a Dragon. Dodge a Dragon looks pretty neat. Uh, let's see. I mean, I do want to see if I can get the Black Queen Jin, at least. Um, I don't know if I have enough 
squares to trade this off with. Yeah, it's not enough rights here. All right, so I'm just going to have to look at other ones here. But actually... I think I do want to try to place that Necro Defender. I think I need to play Necro get Necro Defender. Uh, at least maybe one more. Not sure. But no, I think I do need a Jin, because I have a chance to try and get back with Blackwing. You know what? Let's actually open the pack first. So we need to open up one pack of Turbo Pack 6. Uh, not the best, but um, geez, that's a really good. Power, that's a power card for our special spellcasters. All right, um, two set. All right, and after that, we need to open ten packs of Crow Hogan. Crow, crow, crow. All right, so opening 10 packs of crow. Oh, we still need our wheel too, yeah. Yeah, I need to get, uh, need to do that too. Gale, Gale is a good draw. Gale's an amazing draw actually at this point. Uh, I actually don't know these cards here. Factory monster to control story of battle. It's like 400 damage your opponent for each card your opponent controls. Meh. And then banish one factory monster, draw two cards. Ah. Banish one black monster for your hand, too. Ooh, that's a pretty good one, actually. All right, this is actually not bad, actually. <laughs> actually, actually, actually. <laughs> um, Ghibli, yeah. Uh, ooh, the two synchros. Hey, it's a super rare. Nice. Uh, Ivan Arrow. So, one face up monster you control until the end phase of super attack between. Ba during battle between that attacking monster and the defense push monster. Great for this turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got Black Armed Wing back. So yay. Then Black Wing Armor Master. You cannot be destroyed by the battle. You can take no battle damage from the attack of all this card. At the end of the damage step with this card, attack the monster. You can place one witch counter on that monster. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm seeing used to it, but I just don't know if it's that as great as it could be. Uh, Carmines, that's a good one. Shura is good. Another Shura. It's a sure thing. Ooh, that's a new Blackwing. Kochi, the Daybreak. If this card is summoned, it cannot be used as Secret here. What? Bullshit. Hey, Gale. Oh, good, Gale. 
yeah, Kalut's not in here, he said, so I would have to stick to just the two Kalut's that I have. But two Kalut's, man, that'll be fine. Uh, let's see, shuffle one Black Green Monster to control into the main deck, add one Black Green Monster to the hand, yep. Hmm. Would this be enough, then, to make a comeback with the Black Wings? Because the two Kalutes would be nice. Are nice enough at this point. Do you have the draft? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. And the last thing we need to do is the wheel. Yeah, we have to spin this wheel. So, yeah, I, I got to remember this wheel as well before I moved on. <laughs> Alright, so. Wheel of cards. What will you produce for me today? Uh, oh, an extra card. Oh well. I say oh well, but like, there's a couple of cards in here that are pretty good, regardless. Oh jeez, this one needs a tuner synchro and two non-tuner synchro. One tuner and a power tool dragon. Is power what's power tool dragon then? Is it a seven? Yeah, it's a seven, so we'll just need a little seven and a one. Hmm. I mean, there's options, but, hmm. Yeah, this is the one time I probably don't care about the extra deck. That your beast, eh. Do, 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 do. Let's see, this one is one psychic tuner and two or more non tuner psychic. Level 12. So it would need. So the only one I have that is a synchro and a tuner is. Turbo Synchron. Formula Synchron. So we would need a level 10. So we need two level 5s or something like that to actually help get that by. But then this one here is a level 5 synchro tuner. Once per chain during your opponent's main phase, you can immediately after this effect resolves, synchro summon using this card you control. Hmm. Oh, that, oh, I didn't know that. Last thing Wait, this is a tuner? A level 8 tuner? Excuse me? What in the world? Hmm. Wow. Yeah, pulling none of these tuner synchros is kind of... Eh. Ah, <sighs> so extra deck, huh? Can I mulligan that? <laughs> Hmm. Power Gladiator is not bad, actually.
Yeah, I think I'll just take a power gladiator. Yeah. I guess I'm just gonna have to take that. I mean, it's not a bad card. It's still a good card regardless. Like, if it's, uh... Like... When it's... When it's summoned, or it has piercing damage, and if it's on the... And it's destroyed on the field, they're all card. So, you know, that's pretty damn good. Now, what was I looking at before? Uh, what was I looking at? Um... Was that a spell card? No. Jin, it was Jin. Yes, okay. Alright, so let me just find enough rares here. Like, I know I have an abundance of rares here, I just gotta find them. Choo 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 I'll find one eventually. It's in here somewhere. There you are. Yep, there's one. There. Now we just need Jin. There. There we go. Okay, I think that's everything taken care of for this stream there. So, yeah. We spun the wheel, we got our trade in, we did that, we did our thing. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. Yep, we opened a pack of crow. Yep, that is everything. So that'll be it for today then. Um, I don't think there's any plans after today, so we shouldn't see any more streams. If we do, I'll just advertise that later, I guess. <laughs> but until then, oh, I need to stretch. Mm, as always. Mm. Oh, I also need to see if Cal's ever interested in going back to Genius and Sephiroth, because I kind of miss voicing uh, Marissa and going, Oh, cool, blimey, man. <laughs> uh, you know what? I should actually as well ask him if he's all right with we doing that again, just because I have fun with that with that game. And I have to show it to JCG at one point, because that's a pretty fun RPG to show off regardless. Um, I may do that later, though. Um, we'll see. But in the meantime, that'll be it for tonight. So thanks, everybody, for watching. And um, if you like what you see, make sure you follow. Make sure you do all that, this and that, whatever. And we'll see you guys next time. So until then, stay charged with joy. And yeah, we'll just go back to this next time. Next time, we may pick up with some exhibition matches. We're not sure yet. We're not sure how we're going to approach that. We'll find out later. But until then, catch you all later. Bye, <laughs> Yes, I know I'm a weeb still. <laughs>